time to learn writing tips. My name is Linda Smith. We will take a look at other idiomatic expressions that have to do with color. To be colorless is our first idiomatic expression. It is used to describe someone who lacks personality and is really boring. For example, 1. The new general manager is colorless. 2. I don't enjoy my conversations with her, she is colorless. Next is off color. This expression is used to show that someone is not feeling good. It could also mean a feeling of illness or uneasiness. Example. 1. After feeling off color for some days, she visited the doctor. 2. I didn't want to come to work, I'm feeling off color. To give slash lend color to something is our idiomatic expression number 3. It means to help make a story or an explanation more credible and easier to believe, or to make an event or activity more interesting. Example. 1. His presence lent color to the event. 2. The bruises on her face lent color to her allegation. Our fourth idiomatic expression is to sail under false colors. It means to pretend to be something that one is not. For example, 1. The politician is sailing under false colors. 2. The new coach is sailing under false colors. This club is too big for him. Next is local color. It means the traditional features of a place that makes it unique. For example, 1. The trumpet added much local color to the World Cup. 2. The masquerades added local color to the festival. A highly colored report is our sixth idiomatic expression. It refers to a report that is slanted or has a biased or one-sided view. For example, 1. Auditors made a colored report to shield the managing director from prosecution. 2. This colored report making rounds on the school management is nonsense. Number 7 is see someone's true colors. It means to understand someone's actual character, often for the first time. For example, 1. This election has helped me see the party chairman's true color. 2. Now that I am in need, I have seen Steve's true color. See the color of someone's money is our idiomatic expression number 8. It means to prove that someone has enough money for something. For example, 1. They won't grant you student visa until they see the color of your money. 2. Show the color of your money before I will sign the contract. Number 9 is to show one's true colors. It means to reveal one's true nature. For example, 1. I saw her true color today when she got angry. 2. He won't show his true color until he gets the job. With flying colors is our tenth idiomatic expression. It means to complete something like an examination, with great distinction, and excellent results. 1. He graduated with flying colors. 2. Only those who pass with flying colors will get the scholarship. Next is to paint in bright colors. It means to describe something in a flattering way. For example, 1. She paints her marriage in bright colors, but we know her husband batters her. 2. People often paint their lives in bright colors on social media. To paint in dark colors is our idiomatic expression number 12. It is the opposite of the last idiomatic expression. It means to describe something in an unflattering way. For example, 1. She paints her marriage in dark colors, but we know her husband is a good man. 2. People hardly paint their lives in dark colors on social media. This is where we call it day on this video and on this series on colors. Our next video will start another idiomatic expression series on different parts of the human body. Please continue to like and share our video. See you soon.